Hey gang, today we're going to do Drift Away, a song written by Mentor Williams, who's Paul Williams' brother, I think, and uh, performed by a number of people, but most notably by Dobie Gray uh, in 1973. Uh, Reggie Young is the guitarist on the main part, and then I think Troy Seals, or Seal, is the uh, guitarist on the sort of twangy part. Anyway, it really is a beautiful guitar part, and uh, so we're going to go over it. We're not going to use a capo. We could use a capo on the second. That works fine as well, but we're not going to do it. We're just going to do it with a naked neck here. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you like this, give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one or a couple of these every week. We're going to do this in just a second. All right, gang. Well, let's go over this one no, more or less note for note. First things first, you could definitely download the tab on this one. It's going to make your life a lot easier partly because I'm going to be relying heavily on the tab. Otherwise, this is going to be a super long lesson, which I just don't want to make it. All right, so um, definitely download the tab. It's in the link in the description. All right, let's talk a little bit about the sound. Now, I, well, we're going to be doing the, uh, or about what we're going to be doing. Let's talk about the structure first. So I'm first going to cover the intro and then the chords, or the fills, I mean. that part, all right? Um, so that's what we're gonna do first, and then we'll do the twangy part. Before we do, let's talk a little bit about the sound. Now, I was using a 335 to do the Reggie Young part, and then the the telly, or the telly-like guitar, uh, to do the twangy part, which seemed to make sense. I thought the 335, at least before listening to it totally mixed, um, uh, sounded a little bit dark. So I actually prefer this one. I'm using the neck pickup on this, and on my amp I've got it clean, I've got a little bit of reverb, and just a touch of chorus. I detect a, some sort of modulation on this guitar, but not very much. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Try that out. Your mileage may vary, and uh, play what works, but definitely keep it clean. Okay. So let's go over what the chords are, at least for the verse. Okay, for the intro, I'll play the intro and then we'll do the verse and I'll do the chords. Now the fills come between the chords, so it's good to kind of know the chords. I do have them printed out so you can see what's going on. Um, what's magical about the fills is that they're all between what the singer sings and they lead into the chords just beautifully. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Okay, E. Do do da 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 B. Bottom E. F sharp. Do do B. E. Da 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 B. C sharp minor. That's a B. So <laughs> wanna get lost? F sharp in your rock and roll. Let me E chord away. All right, and then it just repeats that. All right. So um, over the chorus. So I, that was the verse and the chorus chords. So like I said, the the fills are going to come between. So let me play the whole thing if I can, um, and then we'll go over each part. Uh, separately. So the first part is obvious. Okay, here's the first one. E chord. B chord. E chord. F sharp, B. Now here's the cool one, B. C sharp minor, E. And now, give me the Beat Boys. Okay, so, or the Beach Boys. Give me the Beach Boys. All right, um, so what's going on here is, I think, it, is what's really neat is he's playing to the chord that he's going to. So this first one, 
is going to uh, to an E chord, basically. Okay, so those are fourths. That's the first. Oh, I should do the intro first. So let's do the intro. So the intro, you can see I'm using pick and fingers. You can do it with pick, or you can do it with just fingers if you want. Either anything is fine. Just find the one that works for you and go with it. Anyway, the the pattern. I'm gonna play a B chord. Root on the sixth, or root on the fifth. Okay, then we're playing an F sharp chord, root on the seventh fret, second string. Okay, then we're going to play an E chord. This is the triad on 999 nine, nine, on the four, three, and two strings, root on the third string, ninth. Then we're coming back, F sharp, B. Okay. And then we're going to play an F sharp suspended, root on the sixth, suspended fourth, and then our B. Okay, so let's go over the picking pattern on that. So for the first B, we're going to play the root, and then we're going to play string two, three, and four. Pretty easy. Now we're going to slide up to here. This is an F sharp triad. You know what it is? It's just the C chord like this, our cowboy chord C, and you're just bringing it up so that this this note on the fifth string is an F sharp, right? Which is right there. But you don't play the fifth string. You're just playing two, three, four. So we've got, okay, up to nine, nine, nine. Again, we're playing two, three, four strings. And we go back down, same thing. Two, three, four strings. That's the F sharp, now the B. All right, now we're playing our F sharp suspended, and uh, that is uh, two, four, two, four. Okay, from the sixth, five, four, and three strings. That's a B chord. All right. So that's that. First fill, going to an A, an E chord. And then we're going to sit on that E chord, okay? Pretty straightforward. 7 and 7 on the first two strings. Slide up to 9, 9 and back down to 7, 7. Typical use of what are called fourths. That's a fourth interval. Okay, now we're going to that B chord. Okay, so that one's really neat. It's one of my favorites of these fills. So the first one is just the, the equivalent of the one that you just did for the E chord, but we're doing it over the B. Now it's on the second and third strings. We're playing third string sixth, second string seven, sliding up two frets and back. All right, now here's the neat part. All right, so the first thing is, um, this can, this is useful over a B or an E chord, either one. This idea of 7 and 7 and hammering onto the 9, he's just doing it backward, playing 7 and 9 and then pulling off to 7 and 7 on the first two, two strings. Now listen to this. This is in, in Hendrix chords. It's played all the time. So if we're playing a B... That happens all the time. And if we're playing an E... It just works really well. So anyway, here we are. Seven and seven pull off to seven, nine and seven pull off to seven and seven. And then we're going down to the two and three strings and doing uh, eight and seven and pulling off on the third string to the sixth. And now we're coming down, descending to that E triad. Just brilliant. Here we are with that E triad, right? Right when the E chord's coming. Just so pretty. All right, that's six and seven and going down two frets. All right, so that's that whole second one. Two, 
do 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 um yeah so then it goes um oops do 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 Okay, so the first one is over a B chord when we're doing this. And then we're going to an E chord. All right, so that's how that's working. So we're first going to vamp over or play some fills over a B chord. And to that one is just pulling off on this. So uh, if you take this B chord right here, 4-4-4, four, 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 right, on the 4, 3, and 2 strings, that should be familiar to you, B triad. And then we're playing, we're pulling off on that. So third string, sixth, second string, fifth, and pulling off to four, four. And then playing four on the, on the fourth string. And then hammering on to that little E triad, right? Fourth string, sixth, third string, fourth, second string, fifth. Sounds Keith Richards y, right? Okay, one more time. That whole fill over that B chord leading to the E is. All right, there you go. Okay, now <clears throat> we're sitting on an E chord and then we go to the B. And here's one of the most beautiful fills there is. Uh, okay, so this is a B leading to a C uh, sharp minor. How beautiful is this? So, so anyway, this is all triad stuff, folks, but it's so beautiful. Okay, so here we're playing sixths. And so a sixth is usually easily played on two non-adjacent strings. Okay, so we're two strings that we skip one string in between. Here we're playing four strings, four and two. So this one is on 13 and 12. That 12 is the root of a B chord, you see? All right, now we're going to slide up to 14, 14. That's kind of tough. Okay, now 16, 16. And now we're going to go to the third string and first string and play 13 and 12. Now, if you have a Paul Reed Smith, you can just stay on the, on the second. If you have a 24 fret guitar, you can just stay on those second and four, and four strings. It's easy to do. On this, it's kind of hard. You can do it. Oops. That works, but it's it's a little bit hard. So I went up to the the first and third strings to play that. So coming back down 16, 16, 14, 14, slide up to 16, 16. All right, and then that's my 13, 12, ending on that 14, 14, which is part of a C minor triad. Sorry, C sharp minor. But we're only playing 14 14 on the fourth and second strings. All right, one more time. Beautiful. B. All right, listen. So pretty. Okay, now we're going to lead to an E. Really nice. Okay, F again, we're playing sixth, playing on the first string and third string. Okay, third string nine, second string nine. Slide up to 11, 11, and then slide up. This is tough. Slide up to 13, 12. Practice that. It's a little bit difficult to get that on a slide, but that's what Reggie Young does. If you can't get it, just articulate everyone. And that sounds just fine. All right. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So let's play the uh, let's play what we can 
on this. So we're going to do... Um, that's over the E. Now going to the B. E again. Now to the B, B. Um. To the E chord. Do, 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 do. C sharp minor. E. And we're going to give me the beat, boys. All right. Give me the beach boys. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go over the twangy part. I'm going to reset up my guitar and amp, and I'll be back in a second. So um, this guitar sounds a lot different. Um, so I've got it set up now. I really only did one thing. I flipped to the I flipped my my neck pickup to the bridge pickup, and then I took off the chorus. That's all I did on this. Um, you might want to give it a little bit of twang by adding more treble to your guitar, whatever works for you. Okay, so this is in the Give Me the Beat, Boys, and free, Feed My Soul, or is it Free My Soul? I can't remember. Free My Soul? Anyway, uh, what is it? Beach Boys or Wheat? Give Me the Wheat Boys or Give Me the Meatballs? All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's go over that. So the first... Um, the first part is to go to the the B and again we're going to anticipate it the beauty of this song is that the guitar is always anticipating the chord change doing something before that chord change happens and then just ending on the right note for that chord change so the first one is Uh, so that's the first part. So the first thing goes, so that's anticipating, that's before the B chord. B chord. Okay, now we're going to go to the F sharp. Now we're going to go to the E. All right, now what am I doing there to give it a little bit of extra twang? So you can do it however you want. Um, the first is, you know, this pull off on the second, uh, fourth string, second fret, hammering up to the fourth, and then playing the root of the B, fifth string, second fret. All right. So what am I doing to get that extra twang? Well, what I'm doing is I'm actually grabbing the string with my thumb and my first finger. Now I'm doing it with a pick in between. Um, probably a real country player would do it just with the, uh, uh, just with a thumb pulling up, popping up really hard. But I'm grabbing that to give it that extra twang, and it just kind of slaps it down. All right. So the first one is that. The second one is okay. So I'm on the fifth string, four, hammering on the sixth, and then sixth string two leading to that F sharp, which is the root, okay? And then to the E. So fifth string, second, hammering on the fourth, and then open E. Okay, so that part is... So you see we're, we're doing a bunch of slides and pull-offs and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, I think you can get that one. And when it's not too tough, use the tab on that. Now it, it goes up. That's to get to the F sharp. So see, that's the F sharp right there on a fourth string, fourth fret. We're doing, going up an octave. So I'm playing four, 
Oops. And this time I'm bending. And then bending that sixth. So it's four, six, bend up a whole, a whole step, and then play the fourth on the fourth string. All right, now we're going to do the E. And that one's easier. It's just four, four, and a whole step, and then come down to two on the fourth, which is, of course, the root of the E. Okay, now here's that last part. Okay. Okay, so this is really cool. So, so we're playing, uh, all, this is mostly on the fifth string. So we're playing a two to four. And try and bend that up a whole step, but you're not going to quite make it. That's okay. Gives it some nice charm. Back to the fourth, two, and now sixth string two. And do the same thing that you did on the fourth. Bend it to try and go to whole step, but you probably won't make it. Um, and it's okay if you don't. You maybe get three quarters. That's that's cool. It sounds great. And then we're going to do it again. Okay, and then finally. All right. That's it, man. Okay, a lot of stuff in this one. Um, use the tab, and I think you'll get it all. Uh, listen to the record or the demo to get the timing, and it's all going to work for you, and you're going to love it. Okay. All right, gang. Mentor Williams, Drift Away, Reggie Young, Dobie Gray. What could be better? I love this song. Um, hope you do too. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We will see you on down the road.